Kickback happens a couple of different ways. One way it can happen is the board, as you cut it, it can have internal stress. If a tree grows in the woods, it's not gonna grow perfectly straight. It could, but it competes for sunlight, so it grows a little funky. So when you cut that board apart, it might have some internal stress, and one of three things will happen. As you're cutting, it's either gonna stay perfectly parallel like that, which is no big deal, or it's going to try and push itself apart. That's no big deal either. The problem comes when it wants to push on itself. You're cutting it, and it's trying to close up again. This riving knife holds it open so that it doesn't bind on the blade. If you didn't have the riving knife, it could bind on the blade and kick back. And this is some reactionary wood right here. This particular piece of wood, if you zoom in, I cannot push this piece anymore. It is stuck. And it's because of this, this funky grain that you see right here. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this off and you can see, you feel how tight it is? Yeah. Lift up on it on your end. You get more leverage than I have. This is a great example here. This piece is pinching all the way tight on this end. And up here is where the saw curve is. So you can see just how much that's pinching. I have a riving knife in place to hold that curve open. But we, once we get to this point here, it's still way too tight in this area. And I can't cut it. Because I'm going to try to flip the board over and finish this cut from the opposite side. And you might see it pop. And I'll just shut it off right there. Not bad. This piece actually has stayed fairly straight, even with all the stress that's inside that piece. 